has come. You must continue your journey without me. What, what, what? You must believe. The manga starts with a flashback, which means it will not end well. Garp. Anyway, Garp gives us an ethical problem. What would you do if a baby and an old man are stranded on an island full of fierce beasts and you are on the boat that can hold a maximum of two? Kobe answers saying that he will get off the boat so the victims can use it to get to safety. However, Garp interrupts and says that he is wrong, that Kobe should abandon the old man to save the future of the youth. Then the teacher hits Garp because that's not the right answer, because all lives are equal. Nevertheless, Garp's answer by saying, but the potential of youth is limitless. This reminded me of Asuma's philosophy in Naruto, on what is the meaning of the king while playing Japanese chess. I don't remember the original name, but the rules are kind of the same as default chess. Shikamaru thought that the king is the Hokage, the ruler of Konoha. However, that is not the right answer. For Asuma, the king is the next generation, the youth, the future ninjas. We see some kind of analogy with what happened in Amazon Lily. Black Bear and his crew are the beasts, and captured marines are the youth, and Kobe wants to sacrifice for them, taking their place so Black Bear can negotiate with the marines. We go back to the present where Pizarro is about to destroy the battleship. Garb laying down says that do not worry because you guys, meaning the youth, got this. Garb's plan is this. He will get them an opening. Kobe will go for that Iceland monster hand and smash it to bits. Gru's job is to protect the ship from any falling pieces, and her Mepop's job to make sure no one gets in their way. The plan goes on. Gru's doesn't know what is Kobe going to do since it's a giant arm able to destroy a battleship. Blackbeard's parents follow Kobe and Gru's, but her Mepop gets in the way to protect Kobe and Gru's. Garp stands up facing Aokiji while asking where is Garp going with that wound, which Garp answers well, this? This is just a scratch. Aokiji then says well and I he was worrying, but Garp immediately runs to Aokiji and hits him again saying that that just proves Aokiji still soft. Garp then jumps to Pizarro to make another galaxy punch, making Pizarro's real head to bleed. However, although the damage was great, that wasn't enough to take down the battleships. While Kobe goes to the giant hand, Garp starts a flashback of what Helmepo told him what Kobe was doing in secret, because Garp asked him that Kobe is improving a lot recently, but he sees his arm are constantly bandaged. Why? Helmepo says then that Kobe has been working 200 times more effort than the rest who are working 10 times harder, because he believes that he has zero aptitude for combat, so therefore he keeps training even after Garb's special training regime by sneaking the whole night hitting one of the battleship's backs Garb and Akiji used to hit as training, until Kobe's fist peel and bleed. This part reminded me also the Naruto series, especially Rock Lee, although Kobe is a better developed character than Rock Lee. Why? Well, you know, they massacred my boy in Shippuden. Rock Lee was one of the most interesting characters in Naruto, but somehow Kishimoto said not to Rock Lee his development as a character. Yeah, I know Rock Lee's development is still yet to be seen in Boruto, but Boruto sucks. I always said this and I will continue to say it. Kishimoto should have taken time to think about making better ending for Naruto, especially to improve the Ninja War saga. But even more, he should have taken a few years to rest and think about making a good story for Boruto. It's more, the best option was first to do what he's doing now which is to make a manga for Minato and then already have ideas to continue in the sequel and make a better Boruto. Anyway, back to One Piece. Kobe is a way better character than Rock Lee because he has more character development and achievements like for example trying to change Akainu's philosophy on stop killing more white bird pirates when they are already making a withdrawal because that would also imply that more marines will die while trying to kill more white bird pirates. Kobe is also naming a hero in Rocky Port Island giving us understanding that Kobe has more achievements while Rock Lee and Shippuden, well the only good thing he made was to fight himself but that's not even a good thing and for worst, that happened in the first chapters of Naruto Shippuden, an anime with 500 episodes. 
Anyway, I almost got off topic again. Garp by hearing that, he gets impressed and in the present he smiles at the vent. So then Kobe makes his first great attack called Honesty Impact, destroying Pizarro's whole right giant arm and make Pizarro arms bleed. Right after that, the clay guy makes a clay web to trap all the pieces felt by Kobe's hit on Pizarro's arm. Finally, Helmepo grabs Kobe to land to the battleship to flee and therefore Kobe's rescue mission is a success. Everyone is safe. Well, not everyone. The last page we hear a Garp ordering everyone to leave him back, that the priority is the youth. His last word is to never forget you are all the future of the marines. When he says that, we see Garp stabbed in the chest by Aokiji, a large type ice growing in Garp's chest. But nevertheless, Garp is laughing about the situation, facing the doors of death, manifesting the D in his name. We can also see Aokiji not happy. Man, I still trust Aokiji, I still believe he's just a spy, a revolutionary spy, to be exact. And the other thing is, I don't think Garp will die here, or to be exact, they will not kill Garp yet, because I think that Bear will hold her Garp hostage in order to negotiate with the Marines. Or who knows, probably Garp says that he's no value to the Marines, and Bar Black Bear says, well, you're right, and so Black Bear then orders uh, to kill Garp, and I think the one who is going to be ordered is Aokiji, so, we so Black Bear can find if Aokiji is loyal or not on Black Bear. So it's going to be kind of what happened with Severus Snape and Dumbledore. But yes, I am mentally preparing on Garp's death. What a great chapter, looks like next time we're finally going back to our protagonist's adventure in Naked Island. And when I say next time, I saw next week. Just that, in the next two weeks, meaning next chapter on August 6th. Oh, in August 6th, the year 5 in the anime. Well then guys, hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe for more. That will help me a lot. And hope you have a fantastic day. And see you in the next video. Matane!